Hello students, today we are going to learn about gate training with crutch. We have already learned about different kinds of walking gates. In that we have learned different types of crutches and today we are going to learn about gate training. That how we are going to train the patient to walk with the crutches. So uh, before starting that training we need to remember certain points. So let's discuss those points. First point is that the patient should transfer the weight from the hand piece not from the axillary pad. These are the axillary pads, yes? So you are not going to transfer the weight from the axillary pads, but you are going to transfer the weight from the, the hand piece, okay? Uh, second point here is that you are going to put the crutches 4 inches front and lateral to the foot. You are not going to put the crutches side of the foot. If you are going to put the crutches side of the foot, then the stability reduces. That's why you are going to put it 4 inches front and lateral to the foot to increase the stability. Okay. Third thing is you are going to put this axillary pads really close to the chest wall. Okay. So it gives a proper support. And whenever you want to walk with the crutches, the uh, posture of the patient should be good. That the patient should be upright. The patient should not be stooped like this. The patient should be upright in a good posture. And the last point here is if the patient wants to turn while walking. Uh, so at that point, patient should not pivot. Now what is pivoting? Let me show you. If I am standing here and if I just take the circles around, this is pivot and turn. Okay. So patient should not use the crutches and pivot but take a small circle. This is a small circle. Okay. So two ways you can uh, take a turn. Generally we used to take a turn by pivoting. That means on one foot only we are turning. So this is pivoting. This should not be done with the crutches. So how you are going to ask the patient to turn? If the patient wants to turn, the patient is going to take small circles. Right? This and then turn. Rather than when the patient is standing here, Putting the crutches, just shifting the body. This the patient is not supposed to do. Okay? So, patient should take small circles, not to pipe. Now, let's learn about uh, walking with crutch. Okay? So, for gait training with crutch, we have two types. Uh, first is non weight bearing, and another is partial weight bearing. That you are not supposed to take any amount of weight. So the patient is going to take the limb up and normally take any weight, only the crutches and the normal leg is going to be used. And in the partial weight bearing, what will happen? That the patient is going to use the crutches, even some amount of weight the patient is going to take on to the affected foot and then the normal foot. So this is the basic difference that no weight is being taken by the affected foot, that is normal weight bearing for the body, and uh, some amount of weight is taken by the affected foot. That is partial weight bearing walking. So in the non weight bearing, again we have three types. First is P point eight, and second we have shadow walking. In P point eight, we have two types. That is swing two and swing. Okay, so uh, let's learn the each type in detail. Uh, in non weight bearing, first we are discussing about three point gate, and in that three point gate, swing two and swing two. Then we'll go for shadow walking. So let's learn about three point gate. Now the three point itself it tells that you are going to take three steps. Points are going to be considered in a single gate cycle. Okay, so uh, first going for swing two gate. So what will happen here that the patient is not taking any weight on the affected limb. This is my affected one, and at that time now the patient is going to put one crutch forward, the another crutch forward, and then the patient is going to jump and come into the line with the crutch. So these are the three points. See, one crutch. Another crutch, then taking a jump and coming in line with the crutch. So my foot is in line with the uh, crutch. The crutch here and my foot is in the same level. This is called as swing 2. Now coming to the swing 
that is swing through. So when you are through or thorough, that is swing through. That is you are crossing the line of the crutch. Okay, again I am showing you what is swing through and swing through. Three points, so this is the first point, one crutch. Second point, another crutch. Taking a jump and coming to the same line, that is swing through. Now showing you the swing through. One point, another point and then taking a jump going ahead of the line of the crutch. This is swing through. Okay. Now we will learn about the shadow walking. Now shadow walking is uh, something like mimicking a normal pattern of walking. Here in the non red berry 3 point gate, we were not utilizing at all the non weight barrier. Right? So what happens in shadow walking? Let's see. You have used the crutches. This is my non leg bearing leg. Okay? So, I, what I am going to do is, I am going to put one crutch, another crutch, and then I am going to take my non, uh, uh, my affected leg, non weight bearing leg, forward in a moment. And then I am going to jump ahead of the line of the crutch. This is called as shadow walking. Let me show you again. In the shadow walking, what is happening? One crutch, another crutch. Then I am taking my non-affected limb, uh, my affected limb, non weight bearing limb. This limb onto which I am not taking any weight and this is my affected limb. Okay. So I am taking it forward just like a movement. So I am following the shadow of the affected limb. That is, that's why it is called as shadow walking. So taking it front and then going through ahead like swing through. Crossing the line of the crutch. This is called as shadow walking.